Thanks, Deputy Speaker. I rise to join the Prime Minister, the Leader of the Opposition and all members to honour and pay tribute to the heroic Queensland Police Officers Constable Rachel McCrow, 29, and Constable Matthew Arnold, 26, who so tragically lost their young and promising lives when they were murdered in a siege on Monday. Sue Arnold, Matt's mother, said the words could not express her devastation and that he had been due home this week for a break. And Rachel was remembered as someone who volunteered to assist disadvantaged young people by helping them drive safely while she was herself training to become a police officer. I also wish to pay tribute to the brave Alan Dare, who put himself in harm's way to investigate a fire on his neighbour's property. He went to see how he could assist. Al's stepson, Corey, said that he often helped anyone and everyone, even at risk to himself, and he never asked for anything in return. The Queensland Police Union praised Al as, and I quote, just a good neighbour going out to do the right thing. And I want to pay tribute to those who survived this horrific incident, Constables Keeley Broff and Randall Kirk, and to all the first responders who will live with this tra tragedy for the rest of their lives. Whether they wear the police blue, army green, uh, the paramedics, the firefighters, or a uniform of any other colour, our first responders meet danger head on at great risk to their own lives. I send my family and my community's deepest condolences to the families, children and loved ones of the victims. In its statement, the Northern Territory Police Association's president and the CEO, Paul McHugh, said, our hearts are breaking for our Queensland colleagues. This incident highlights the volatile, dangerous nature of policing and the bravery of every police officer who puts on their uniform every day, not knowing what they'll face. The Northern Territory Chief Minister, Natasha Files, said, our police put their lives on the line to protect us, not to be harmed. And the NT Minister for Police, Fire and Emergency Services, Kate Warden, rightly said, that no one should lose their lives just for doing their job. I call on all members to support these families this Christmas. The Queensland Police Union has established a remembrance fund for Constable Matthew Arnold and Constable Rachel McCrow. There is also a GoFundMe page set up for Alan Dare's funeral. Those details are online and I urge you all who can to make a contribution. Finally, thank you to all who serve and protect our community, and thank you in particular to their families. I wish you all a blessed Christmas with your loved ones. You are in our thoughts, in our prayers, and in our hearts.